coming up next on Sledhead 24-7. What's the best snowmobile for 2021? Our team of Sledhead 24-7 test riders get busy as they ride, rate, and review the 2021 Woo! snowmobile models. From the groomed trail, mountain sleds, crossovers, rough trail, and beyond. And get ready as we build to the announcement of the Sledhead 24-7 Sled of the Year. Sledhead 24-7 Snowshoe Special Edition starts right now. Welcome to Sledhead 24-7 2021. Welcome to a special edition of Sledhead 24-7. This is our snowshoot. This is 2021 model year. We got the best groom, rough, crossover, and mountain sleds that are known to man. We got some of the best riders, best sleds. Take a look. Our groom trail segment. Now this is where we go out and we're just gonna put on some miles. We want the sleds to be very trail friendly, uh, lay flat, have response, have some creature features, uh, good hand warmers, wind protection, you name it. Skidoo MXEX 850 with the E-Tech. Now they went in and they made a lot of suspension changes. To look at it, you'd go, looks the same to me, but they're not. The geometry, they, they lengthened the shocks, they lengthened some arms, they changed the shocks around. And with their new ski, they made this thing a groomed trail machine. So what we were looking for was key improvements in three areas. Better cornering, even more bump filtering and, and more comfort, and then a higher fun factor and confidence builder. This thing handles the corners, no ski lift. You just lay flat, effortless to drive it, confident building. I found myself coming into the corners faster and out of the corners faster with ease. Well, Polaris blew us away with their new Matrix chassis. The 850, 137, the BR1 they call it. This is the top of the line Mac Daddy when it comes to snowmobiles. It's the best handling trail snowmobile ever built. I'm confident in saying that. The thing just, just rips down the trails, corners like it's on rails, handles the bumps, it's got all the rider balance control, takes it to a whole new level for us. So the dash is impressive. It's now seven inches. And although I thought at first maybe it was gonna be overkill, I really liked the new ride command and I would love to be linked with the other riders in my group to be able to pay attention to where they're at. I also found that it was very easy to set my hand warmers to a specific temperature. And so at low, medium, or high, I could set that for exactly what I wanted it to be. So when we left and it was minus six degrees in the morning, I had them at high at 150 degrees. Uh, again, we've got the Thundercat for model year 2021, which is our three cylinder turbocharged four stroke. Um, last year we had a one inch track on that vehicle and due to consumer demand and, and some market research, we determined that bringing that track size back up to a, an inch and a quarter. One thing Articat did that I, I thought was a great choice was they went to the inch and a quarter track. The one inch track last year, unless you were studded real heavy, that thing still blew out so easy. And I know the one, the lower lug is a little faster, but that inch and a quarter hooks up a little better, so it's a little more confident pulling out of the corners. The Yamaha Sidewinder SRX. This is one cool looking snowmobile. And this machine doesn't disappoint. They added a new striker ski, which I really enjoy. I think they made a great, great move in the skis. This, you can shim it, so if you feel you're getting a little darting, they have shims for the back of the skis. And what it does is it tips it back and puts a little more pressure on the back heel, and it'll get rid of your darting. If you want more, you know, more bite, then you can actually take some of that away and get the front end to bite. So whenever we have a product, we always try to make it better. We try and improve it. And that stands true with our, our North American built units as well. We're always trying to improve it. We're testing it. We're doing durability. So um, whenever you have that Yamaha on the side of it, we want to make sure it's that premium brand image where we're really getting into good deliverable to our end consumers. 
For the Sidewinder SRX, it's so much fun with the uh, adjustable suspension. You can set it for when it's smooth like this to get to lay real flat. So if you get with some bigger bumps, you can firm it up. Take all the, the bumps, the chatter bumps out, and the power of this turbo is second to none. After a week of intense riding and evaluation, the Sledhead 24-7 winner in the Groom Trail category is the Polaris Matrix VR1 18137. When our Sledhead 24-7 Special Edition roars back, our test riders get rough and take no pity on the 2021 Rough Trail Sleds. And later, what sled is the biggest game changer this year? We'll announce our selection of the Sledhead 24-7 Sled of the Year. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, Runs on Freedom by Polaris, by FXR, maximum versatility for all conditions, and powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. I get my test riders, you know, begging and pleading about this rough trail. They know how regimented we are with our rough trail. We go and we ride them hard. It's going to be rough. We're putting them through the test. We're putting our sleds and the riders to the limit. The Skidoo Renegade XRS with the 850E Tech. This sled has a suspension under it that you will never second guess. The more that I throttled into it, the smoother it went. Now this machine has always been one of my favorites in the big bumps. With the Razx front end, which gains some travel and changed some geometry, to the skis, they're actually got more keel, an outer keel, and the, the skis bite and don't push at all. They're so positive feeling. And then they go into the R-Motion X rear with the 129 and the 137 skid. They're able to make longer arms, make them lay flatter. By changing the suspensions, we also allowed us to add more aggressiveness in the ski. So the Pilot X ski is a much more aggressive ski than the Pilot 5.7. And same with the TX versus the Pilot TS. Both of them are a bit more aggressive. You look at the length that we've added more lateral surface to the sides of the ski, a little more precision. So when you come into a turn now, they carve very tightly. And the suspensions are what allowed us to do that. The Polaris 850 Indy XCR 129, uh, that is a great platform. Uh, it's, it's nimble and it's quick and with the 850 in there, it's really powerful and just fun to ride, sporty, comes through the corners, predictable and uh, it's just a blast to ride, that's for sure. For riding the Polaris in the, in the rough trail, through the corners, bumps like that, I can see why they do so well on the cross country. Smooth, rough, it didn't really matter, the sled just performed. Now we chose the 129 track link to go run through the bumps. Uh, we like the new that new chassis is uh, tried and true. We really like it this year. And now with the velocity shocks, be able to adjust it. You have adjustability for soft, you know, soften up the valving, firm it up. Whatever you're doing, if you want to push it hard, take it easy. This sled will do it. You know, it's a it's a proven race sled. These guys are winning championships across countries with this sled. They want the best snowmobile money can buy to go ride the bumps they're gonna go by the XCR. With the Walker Evans Velocity shocks, I found that this sled was dialed in and we had switched from all different sizes of individuals that day and I could get on this sled and it reacted perfectly for me. Articat's ZR8000RR. Now this is a, a been a proven sled. We really enjoy this sled in the bumps. And the Articat ZR8000RR reminded me a lot of my old Snowcross sled. This sled is unlimited power anywhere you're at in the throttle. And going through the corners, you can lean into them and it reacts perfectly. You know, that's a tried and true chassis and platform that it just never disappoints. Fit and finish is awesome as always. And, and it's just an all around great sled. Yamaha's Sidewinder LTX SE. Now this sled has always really surprised us. Last year, Yamaha redid their valving and they got it down. That thing, as big of a snowmobile that is and as much power as it is, you can just go in and either hammer it through the bumps and it takes it, or if you back off, the front end uh, would absorb the bumps. It didn't ever feel like the back end was gonna pass you. The thing laid solid. And if you saw something you needed a quick blip over, that thing had plenty of power to do. 
After a week of busting rough trail, our crew feels the best overall rough trail sled is the Skidoo Renegade XRS 850. Still ahead, our snowshoot crew gets serious with the crossover sleds. What sled is number one? Who's the best? Stay tuned for the reveal of the Sledhead 24-7 Sled of the Year. But first, time for today's Amsoil Tech Tip. Hey, Len Groom from Amsoil here. We're at Canterbury Park and we're standing in front of the FXR Mobile Medical UTV. And the deal with this machine is it has to start in the cold. It starts at a moment's notice and they race out onto the track because somebody could be in trouble. So this thing needs to be protected and it needs to make sure that it's in tip top running condition. Amsoil provides all the products for this machine and new for 2020, we're introducing the powertrain fluid for ATVs and UTVs. And this is designed specifically for the Polaris machines. For more information about any of our ATV or UTV products, check out amsoil.com. You know, this is probably the largest growing segment out of all the manufacturers. Uh, that's where they're putting a lot of effort into it. And you're seeing the 50-50 crossovers, the 70-30 crossovers. You know, you really kind of got to decide, but this crossover market is really getting popular. Skidoo's Backcountry XRS with the 154 two inch. Now, in my opinion, this snowmobile was a great mountain sled four or five years ago. Now they have it, so you can actually trail ride it decent. Uh, feels great on the trails, real easy to drive, but yet when you want to get off and play, go up in the mountains, play in some of the meadows on the UP in Northern Minnesota. It has plenty of power, it has plenty of track. Crossover segment's got really three new features this year. One would be the, the seven point LCD gauge is available if you want it. You've got a QRS driven clutch that's got more fins on both sides of it, so it's additional cooling in the CVT system. And we've added the belt monitoring system to it. The Yamaha Sidewinder XTX SE. We ran that with the 146 length track and the 2.25 inch lug. Now what's really cool about that track is it hooks up. I mean that, you come around a corner and you nail it and that track grabs. I mean, that's what those things need. They need something to really hook up. This is making, you know, when you're making that kind of power, you need something to hook up and transfer. And that's what was really fun to ride. I mean, yes, it felt a little longer with the 146, but it hooked up so well, it made it so much fun to ride. The Polaris 850 Matrix Switchback in the 146, the one we took out now and we chose has a two inch paddle. Now this was a track that Polaris and Camso work together to get a track that was just right. Because players wanted something that was gonna hook up good in the snow, but yet be real trail friendly. This sled is so much fun. You can ride it on the trails, and when you see that perfect spot that you're able to get off into, you can go out and play. So we were able to find some you know, really fresh powder areas where I was able to ride through the trees and lean it over very easily. But when we got back on the trail, the suspension and the matrix rider forward positioning is so, it's aggressive, but yet it's very, very comfortable. Just about anything that you could put your finger on is new and refined and brought to a whole new level in the Matrix platform. It's technology that is just almost mind-blowing and how well they've taken something is just minimal as hot grips to make us as riders enjoy it. So for the Riot X, this year features our Alpha One single rail rear suspension, which again you see in all of our mountain lineup and it really turns that thing into a backcountry dominator. It has excellent trail performance with that 40 inch front end. You know, Articat took this Riot X uh, with the Alpha rail and uh, the track, made it so good in the deep snow, I thought it might be, you know, a little bit iffy on the trails, but I was surprised with that 40 inch wide front end and the sway bar, it laid flat. You could corner, you could rail the corners, but yet when you did want to jump off and play in the powder, and start climbing hills and doing some side hailing and through the trees, it did a great job. That thing was so fun to ride and so nimble to ride. Uh, you got to take a look at that Riot X. And what crossover sled checked off all the boxes on the list from our test riders? It's the Polaris Matrix 850-146. 
Still ahead, we answer the call for deep powder fun as we head to the mountains amid epic testing conditions. And we'll answer perhaps the ultimate question. What snowmobile owns the title Sledhead 24-7 Sled of the Year? Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. Track, trail, or tree line. Ride with rocks. By Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Ziegler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. And by the U.S. Air Force. Aim high. You know, Snowshoe 2021. One of my favorite categories is the mountain category. That's when we get to go out and we take the top mountain sleds from all the manufacturers, and usually they send some pretty good riders to entertain us. Skidoo Summit uh, 850 Turbo with the Expert Package. Skidoo did a great job. I really enjoyed their Expert Package, this, the season riding it, and you know what they did? Threw in a turbo. Now what they do is at 165 at sea level, at 8,000 feet it still makes 165 horse. Normally that motor would have dropped 40 horse at, at 8,000 feet. It's like a compensator. So you guys in the Midwest that are riding your 850s at home, that's what it's gonna feel like when you're riding up in the hills with that turbo. The mountain segment, you can sum up in one word, turbo. That will change the game for mountain riders. You used to have to sacrifice horsepower as you went up in altitude. Now you don't anymore. So the 165 that the Flatland guys get to enjoy is the same 165 you enjoy at 8,000 feet. Now after 8,000 feet, it does drop off, at the same rate as a normally aspirated motor, but it's still 40 extra horsepower, which is huge for those mountain guys. Uh, they're loving it. Everybody that's been on it has been just super jazzed about it. They definitely want that as their sled of choice for this year. You know, Articat Mountain Cat, that's, you know, they've got the alpha rail. It's been a great sled. Well, they changed the shock package, and now they have a shock package with the electronic shocks where you can actually soften it for easier side healing. You can lock out the rear uh, skid shock, so if you're really trying to blow up a, a big hill, that thing won't wheelie up on you, lays flatter and climbs more controllable. Because when they get up in the air like that, you'll start you know, making a little more uncontrollable. So if you can lock that, it'll set, and you'll be able to keep a straighter line going up the hills. We integrated the attack electronic adjustable suspension into the mountain cat segment. So um, last year we uh, had the IACT, which was our, again, our electronically controllable on-demand suspension system. This year we renamed it to Attack just to kind of better fit that market um, and better align with some of our marketing strategies. You still get all the customizability of having soft, medium, firm settings and also uh, customizable driver one and driver two settings, which lets you independently adjust the suspension settings for the front and the rear shocks. So it's gonna be exciting. You know, Yamaha Mountain Max, I'm an old Yamaha Mountain Max guy from back in the days. So to see this come back, I, I have a lot of good memories riding a blue Yamaha. So to see them coming back, stepping back into the mountain game is really exciting. You know, the sled has a lot of Articat DNA, but Yamaha has put their special touches on it to make it a Yamaha. So it's gonna be doing exactly what you Yamaha guys want. Being a two stroke, lightweight, good power to weight ratio, industry kind of unique single beam rear suspension we feel is really strong and we're happy to work with our existing supply agreement with our partners to bring that to the market so if there's a way to get for us to get back into the mountain industry we really feel this is our strongest foot forward having that two stroke with the lightweight and getting really what the market was looking for on the mountain side you know Polaris RMK 850 we were riding on we rode all the different tracks but the one we really enjoyed was a 155 in this snow condition they got a new 2.75 inch track that they developed along with cam so that uh, is a little must be a little harder paddle because it seemed to bite really good on the hard pack but yet didn't seem to want to trench they put a new q2 drive system which is actually lowering the drive train about 10 percent which makes it respond quicker and you can feel it i mean the thing you get after it and it responds very quick so there's a lot of versions of that q2 and for the belt drive throughout their whole system, but you got a snow chuck. Uh, that package is really nice, uh, really well balanced. Uh, the Q2 just, yeah, as soon as you squeeze the throttle, it, it's just moving. A great group of mountain sleds, but only one winner. It's the Skidoo Summit Turbo. Here at Sledhead 24-7, when it comes to sled of the year, we do not take it lightly. 
we ride, we rate, we review, and after a week of riding, there was one category that really got all of our riders' attention. It was a partnership with Articat and Yamaha giving us a mid-sized snowmobile that was missing in the market. Just the idea, they're a 400 single cylinder counterbalance motor so that it's not a chuggy motor. It's smooth, EFI, electric start, electric engine reverse. It's got all the you know latest technology that we have in the full size snowmobiles all put in a little more compact version. As a parent, I'm really excited about the fact that the manufacturers have really taken an interest and focus on allowing the next generation of riders to be fitted to a snowmobile that is designed for them. Thanks for watching. Please keep in touch. We'll be adding updates on all our social media channels as well as sledhead247.com. We'll see you out on the trail. I was about riding all these new sleds right here in West Yellowstone. What year is it? It's like This is going to be model year 2021 we're riding right now. Some of the best machines known to man. And you know what? We always have the most fun one with you guys because you guys really let these things eat. So we're super excited to get out there and uh, get these things going. One thing that I've always liked doing to you is always playing pranks on you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sledhead 24-7, 2021! <laughs>